welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your daily tarot for Wednesday, the 24th of October 2018, which is a full moon in Taurus. Bally Bobs joins us. Don't know if you can see her. She's asleep on the bed. So I'm looking in my moon diary and I'm seeing a little sentence that interests me. The sun enters Scorpio on the 23rd of October to meet up with Venus in another passionate embrace, which is opposed by the full moon and Uranus in Taurus on the very next day. Saturn is drawn into their face-off, bringing the drama of the past few months to a climactic point. Probably not the climactic point we were hoping for, is what I'm grasping here. Tension may snap. Woohoo! <laughs> Change must be consciously implemented if disruptive chaos is to be avoided. The relationship between growth and responsibility must evolve. So, <laughs> that is the information about the full moon in Taurus. Responsibility, romance, Uranus, Taurus. It's a little bit of a scrum in which we hope that peace will be the victor, but of course Scorpio is in there. Sun moves into Scorpio. And then I've got to share this with you because I'm hoping that you're on the wavelength for this, okay? And you may have noticed how um, astrologers struggle with Uranus, Uranus, okay? And I did share this with someone in a private reading yesterday, but I have to share it with you. So in my full, in my moon diary, <laughs> Wednesday the 24th, full moon in Taurus, Uranus is visible for much of the night using binoculars. Is it so wrong that I have been chortling about that since yesterday? And I still am today. I still am today. Okay, that's my preamble. Which pack shall we use? I'm feeling the rider weight still. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? What do we need to know, Valentine? Uranus is visible using binoculars. I know. I know, I know, it's puerile, that's the word, isn't it? It's puerile. Okay. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Every time I say that line, I get that poem. What do I know? What do I know of love's lonely and austere offices? Robert Hayden, those winter Sundays. What do I know, or what do we know, what do we know of love's lonely and austere offices? Do you know what? I think that's, mm, there's a lot of love type stuff in here as well. I have one more, thank you very much. Ooh. It is a bit of a bun fight. It is a bit of a Venus, Uranus. Uh, see, I'm behaving myself. Scorpio, Saturn, Barbara, I think. And yeah, at the same time, when I think of Taurus and I'm thinking Earth, and I think of my Taurus friend, my chaotic, psychic, earthy Taurus friend, who kind of, she's the one who did the tarot reading for me where she walked into the kitchen tripped over threw all the cards on the floor and three were face up and that was my tarot reading one of the most accurate readings i've ever had that's the energy of the full moon in taurus okay that's what it is here we have the ace of cups no one wants to kick that card out of bed for eating crisps do they no not at all ace of cups welcome at any table or bed or Shays long or whatever for that matter gorgeous gorgeous card i love it and it's promise and then cheek by gel right next to it the nine of cups in reverse the emotional wish card that's what i mean it's a scrap it's a scrap and here temperance temperance for me Although it represents the sign of Sagittarius, most often represents the time of Sagittarius, okay? Which is November the 23rd-ish, and I always ish my dates, onwards, which is not very long. When Venus will be moving direct, sort of, 
and Mercury will be going retrograde. That's about right, actually. Venus going direct, Mercury going retrograde. Topsy-turvy. It's a topsy-turvy energy. Strength in the reverse, major arcana. Can mean that you're dealing with a Leo or with Leo issues such as children, family, that kind of thing. But also for me, it's energy and emotional stamina. This situation, whatever it is, friend, foe, friend and foe, all of the above, group of people, work colleagues, lover, <laughs> lover. It requires emotional stamina for you to hang in there. I like the parity between the Ace of Cups and Temperance. But there is this slight, I mean, it's a thorn in the side, but the Nine of Cups in reverse is for me not a difficult card, as in it's not a severe card. It doesn't necessarily mean, and it's the emotional wish card, but being in reverse doesn't necessarily mean, oh, well, it's in reverse, so you don't get what you wish for. Usually I go along with the adage of you get what you want, but not how you want it. That's the feeling because, you know, ooh, you get what you want in some sense when the Ace of Cups is on the table. It's a beautiful, beautiful card and it makes my nose itchy. The cards are very boingy and jumpy today. Then I've got the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. Three of Pentacles and the Three of Wands are Kevin Costner, Field of Dreams, okay? I know, probably the last decent film that he did before Waterworld. <clears throat> Field of Dreams, build it and they will come. Build it and they will come. Probably not when you want it, probably when you least expect it and knowing divine timing when you no longer need it. Heart of my bottom oracle, let's have one of these. I'm going to be doing the November reading soon, by the way. I'm trying to get, like, this will be fateful, I'm going to touch wood. Fateful, I'm going to get an early start. So look out for those, she says. Ooh. Ooh. Itchy nose. Okay. Oh, and you're jumping. I love that card. This is an interesting card, the Speaker of Truth. This is an austere card. This is not someone who's going to pretty it up. But at the same time, it's the unvarnished truth. And for me, if you notice the solar plexus, the sort of sternum solar plexus area is really heavily featured and it seems to grow out of that. I'm trusting those horns, okay? <laughs> Not a sentence I thought I'd be saying today, but hey, who knows where the day will take us? Not only can I find my anus at night using binoculars, I'm trusting those horns, okay? Trusting those horns. This is some unvarnished truth coming our way that we may not like, but we get what we want, but not how we want it. It's like a very, very, very heartfelt, well thought out present, but they didn't know how to wrap it. Better that <laughs> than a really bad present, which is wrapped beautifully. And I'm thinking of one year when I worked in an office and they have this company called Lush and they're an amazing company but they do these bath bombs and they make me feel really sick they stink and lots of people love them and it was secret santa <laughs> and there's like a barrel of stuff and i can smell that bloody thing from across the office and i'm thinking that has got to be mine and yep sure enough my lovely colleague had bought me a bath bomb and when i went home i honest to god i double bagged it and I put it in the outside bin and I could still smell it. It's one of those things that gets in the back of your throat. Not to say, because Lush products are fantastic. I'm not going to diss them because I do use some of their stuff, but I cannot tolerate the smell. I'm not good with perfume. Queen of the day. This is nice. This is 
This is the Ace of Cups in a Queen. There are pearls of wisdom within this very austere speaker of the truth. There is something nice. There is something of a gift in it. It just, like we say, it's just not packaged very well. He just didn't remember the pretty. Yeah, exactly. Treasure Island. We love Treasure Island. I do love that card because it's a sea turtle and I love that. And just the fact that it's Treasure Island and that's got a whole kind of lob Lobbert Rui Stevenson, I was going to say there. Lobbert Rui Stevenson feel about it. Excellent. Let's go with that. And just because it's got confetti hearts and stars. You know, I'm a simple girl. And that kind of reminds me of the unwrapped present as well. Let's have a healing with the angels oracle card. Again, we've had this one quite a bit. Emerging. I like that. Leave me a comment. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know how it resonates with you. And do like, share and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.